for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jorge Game Red Martinez. And now he figures his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, two of the better strikers in this welterweight division. They are Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards. You likely know that this is a big DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Just missed on the front kick there. Well, the forecast is true. Goes back to the hook shot, but unable to land. Oh, big elbow. Oh, it's just opening up on him now. Oh, my goodness, these boys are going at him. Oh, big left hook there. It's a good right hand right there. Oh! All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand is always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Rip the body there. Now he lands a solid punch. Back and forth we go. Just over 20 total strikes. Should now land it for Jorge Masvidal. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. And that is the danger in the engagement there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Edwards. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Good combination on the beat, DC, there from Leon Rocky Edwards. Underappreciated no more. And if he doesn't have the respect he so craves from the fan base, he certainly has it from his fellow welterweight contenders. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. Bad. All right, coming down the stretch in this round, and the storyline, of course, has been Leon Edwards, the striking, just mixing up his weapons beautifully. I mean, John, we have seen him against the best welterweights in the world use his striking to really limit them in their approach. Tonight, he has done the same thing. He is so good from distance. When he wants to enter, it's only on his terms. He does everything so well that he almost makes his opponents seem average. These are the best fighters in the world. But Leon Edwards possesses the skill to make them look like they're just okay. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You got knock that off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Boy, 
25 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great play of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. seconds. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Edwards is now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Always be close and busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, here we go with the start of round Ready, two. Fight. Leon Edwards. Ready. And Jorge Gainbred must be done. Oh, nice jab by Edwards. Wow, what a head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Edwards' his elbow locked. And just a stand-up from Masvidal is a handful for anybody, man. Technique is tight. Everything comes from where it's supposed to. Comfortable and confident is Jorge Game Red Masvidal. All right, well, that blow is fossiting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. 81 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And the connection rate, pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Leon Edwards. Well done. His hand's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him. And now I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the now he's trying to guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. This work. I'm setting this up. You need to work. Making all these shots count. That was a slick transition. All right, working inside his opponents. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. This is a terrible position. Under two minutes now to go. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity-patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 
Edwards' his eyes closing up now. Not good for him. Sidekick now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Key back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come now. Just out of range with that left hook. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like... All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Third it. round on the way. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. the elbow up into the target. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Oh, nice. Nice. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Edwards is taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. And now Masvidal's trying to make that eye swell shut, DC. Clearly, he has put a focus on targeting that area, which is already damaged on his opponent. All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back and forth. It's been so close. I would not want to be sitting at the judges' table right now. I don't know who's winning this fight. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Game bread going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Nice strike lands from the bottom fight. Right. 
the spike, come on. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Beautiful defense, nice walk. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. is off. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh! Oh! All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice jab there by Gabriel. He gets to his spot, the tie plays. Then he starts to let the beat. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Masvidal. All right, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, your winner by knockout. His bankroll is already pretty fat. Not getting thinner after a big knockout like that tonight. Well, when you commit to your...